Shepherd House International Christian Church Word of the Week. On behalf of our pastor, R. Kevin Matthews, and our first lady, Melissa Matthews, we'd like to welcome you today with my friend Shep and me, Miss Donna. Hi, boys and girls. It's the Word of the Week. The Word of the Week. Boys and girls, it's time to pray. Please put your hands together and bow your heads. Father God in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father God, that you have brought us together once again to glorify your name and your kingdom. We thank you, Father God, that you give us courage, Father God, to do all things through Christ who strengthens us, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you have increased our ability, Father God, to know you and to be who you've called us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It's confession time. Boys and girls, repeat after me. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. The Son. The Son. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. I embrace the truth. I embrace the truth. Of the scriptures. Of the scriptures. With a four letter lyric. With the four letter lyric. I can do all things through Christ for destiny. I can do all things through Christ for destiny. I walk in love. I walk in love. Respect and obedience. Respect and obedience. So follow me. So follow me. I know the Lord is my shepherd. I know the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want. T-S-H-I-C-C. -C. T-S-H-I-C-C. -C. Is where I am taught. Is where I am taught. I am a believer. I am a believer. I am a receiver. I am a receiver. Why? Why? Because Jesus is my redeemer. Because Jesus is my redeemer. Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to praise the Lord. You can do that many ways by clapping your hands, stomping your feet, and even dancing. But today we're going to sing. It's really
we're going to talk about the Red Sea. So if you could please open your Bibles and turn with me to Exodus, the 14th chapter. Um, excuse me, Minister Donna, why was the sea red? Good question, Shep. You have to open your Bibles and listen to the story so that we can learn about courage. Today's word of the week is courage. Courage? I know what courage is. Courage is being brave, right? Being brave is right, Shep. It gives you the strength to do what you don't think you can do. Like, um, when I want to play a game and I don't think I'm going to win, and so I don't want to play it, so then if I do play it, I have courage? Right, Shep. It's like when you want to cross a busy street and the cars are coming really, really fast, <gasps> then you stop and you look both ways. You look from the left and you look to the right, and then you take a deep breath, <sighs> and then you cross the street. And that's when you're not holding your mommy and daddy's hands. Because when you hold your mommy and daddy's hands, they look left and then they look right for you. Is that right, Minister Donna? That's right, Shep. Exodus, the 14th chapter, the Red Sea. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. During the day, God went ahead of them in a pillar of cloud. Wait, 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 wait. Minister Donna, God made a pillow in the clouds? No, he made a pillar in the clouds. Oh, okay, keep reading. I'm excited about this story. During the night, God went ahead of them in a pillar of fire. I, but I thought it was a cloud. That was a pillow. It was a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night because at night they would get cold. So oh, God made a pillar of fire to keep them warm. That makes perfect sense. And you... No, they were in a desert, so it was a pillar of cloud in the day so they would be protected from the sun. God is amazing! He is amazing. God led the Israelites to the edge of the Red Sea. Pharaoh and his army was close behind. The Israelites did not know what to do. They screamed, ah! We are trapped! What have you done to us, Moses? Moses said, Do not be afraid! God will protect us. God's cloud came between the Israelites and Pharaoh's army. They could not see anything. So, so the pillar of cloud kept Pharaoh and the mean men from seeing God's people? It did. God is amazing! God told Moses, raise your staff over the sea. Then the Lord pushed back the sea to make a path. Moses and the Israelites followed the path through <gasps> the sea and to the other side. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, the water was high on both sides. The waters raised up on the left side and the right side, and the Israelites passed through without even getting wet. That's amazing! And God told Moses, raise your staff over the sea. Then the Lord pushed back the sea to make a path. Moses and the Israelites followed the path through the sea to the other side. But Pharaoh's <gasps> army followed close behind. Moses raised his staff again and the sea swept away Pharaoh and his army. Moses and the Israelites sang praises to God. They were free. Yay! They weren't slaves anymore. So the water to took Pharaoh and all of the army away from the Israelites and they were safe and free. Yes, God protected them. They say he saved them because they was courageous enough to walk through the water on dry land. Well, I think I would have been afraid too if I saw water on the right side and the left side and had to walk through. They were very brave, Minister Donna. They were brave. So courage means having or being brave to do something you were afraid to do, like, like how I'm afraid to ride a roller coaster. If I have courage, that means I'm brave enough to do it. <laughs> The final plague had the Egyptians scared, and they urged the Israelites to leave quickly. 
The Hebrews gathered their belongings and livestock and left Egypt with great rejoicing. To make their departure even sweeter, as this massive sea of men, women, children, and flocks and herds of livestock made their way out of Egypt, the Egyptians loaded them down with incredible treasure. Their centuries of slavery had come to an end. God delivered his people just as he had promised. God led the Israelites out into the desert wilderness. While on their journey, God cared for his people. To help them find their way, he led them in the daytime as a pillar of cloud. During the night, he appeared as a pillar of fire. These columns not only gave the Israelites direction, but also comfort. The pillar of cloud protected them from the harsh rays of the sun, and the pillar of fire kept them warm through the cold desert nights. After the Hebrews left, Pharaoh changed his mind and said, What have we done? We let the Israelites go and have lost their services. Pharaoh commanded that his chariot be made ready, and he summoned more than 600 of his best chariots and officers. As he and his charioteers rode off, Pharaoh's entire army marched behind him. All of Egypt's military was in pursuit of the Israelites. As Pharaoh's armies got near, the Israelites caught sight of them and began to panic. They quickly turned on Moses and asked him, why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in the desert? But Moses stood firm and called upon his fellow Israelites to do the same. Fear not, and see the salvation the Lord will bring you today. You will never see these Egyptians again, for the Lord shall fight for you. Moses stretched his hand over the sea and the Lord sent a strong wind that drove back the waters until they were parted, leaving a dry path straight through the middle. All the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea, walking on dry land with towering walls of water on both sides. After the Israelites had made some way through, Pharaoh's entire army followed them on the path the Lord had made through the middle of the sea. When Pharaoh's army had made it midway through the sea, the Lord threw the Egyptians into confusion and panic. Their chariot wheels, clogged with mud, fell off or got stuck. The Egyptians began to cry out in terror, Let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord fights for them and against us. Once all the Israelites had made it across safely, the Lord had Moses stretch his hand out across the sea again and walls of water collapsed, crashing down in huge waves upon the Egyptians. Not a single Egyptian who went into the sea survived. After this mighty display of the Lord's power, the Israelites trusted him and Moses as his servant. God had freed them from slavery and from the attacking Egyptian army. Overjoyed, Moses and all the people of Israel began to sing praises to the Lord. The people sang, I will sing my heart out to God. What a victory! He has thrown horse and rider into the sea. God is my strength. God is my song. God is my salvation. I will praise him always. Through this mighty act of deliverance, God set the Israelites free. The Lord would be their God, and they would be his people. Hey 
boys and girls. What do you do while waiting in line? What do you do when you hear the scream? Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know about this one. What do you do when you get buckled in? It's a big ride. I don't, I don't know about this one. Oh, how am I gonna get through this? You know what? I'll pray. That's what I'll do. Oh, oh God, God, you're so big. You're, you're bigger than this roller coaster. So I'm gonna need your help. Uh, um, what should I ask for? Oh, I've got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask for some courage. Yeah. Clumsy. Oh, there. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For I, your God, will be with you wherever you go. For I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. God, that was just what I needed. Now I have the courage. I have the courage to ride this ride. I'm ready to do it. Ay, ay, ay. What do you do when the ride goes all the way up? Do you scream?
Welcome to Bible Trivia. We'll be asking questions about the Lord's Prayer. The next question for 4,000 points. When we pray, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, what does it mean? Is it A, we should boss our friends around? B, we should be mean to others? C, we should be good every day like God wants us to be? Or D, we should lie to our parents? The answer is C. When we pray, Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, that means we should be good every day, like God wants us to be. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go.